Hello everyone, we want to provide a solution to this problem and I mean the complete solution. We have 2x minus 2 to the power of 4 equals 1. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe and if you are not new and you have not subscribed, what are you waiting? Subscribe so you can learn you know have more access to my math videos from here do you know that this is the same as 2x minus 2 to the power of 4 right then this is going to be equal to 1 here is the same as 2 to the power okay 1 to the power of 2 okay now let's go to the left we have 2x minus 2 we have 2 then I have another power 2 again because if you open the brackets you're going to have this back okay and this is equal to 1 squared let that square be there since we want to solve everything into detail now see this in what we have on the inside here this is the same as 2x minus 2 times 2x minus 2 okay to the power of 2 the square on the inside has been expanded and this is equal to 1 squared now let's open this bracket x 2x two, two times 2x is 4x squared right then 2x times 2 that will be 4x then this times this will give us the same thing then we have plus 4 minus 2 times minus 2 is plus 4 this is square on it and this is equal to 2 not 2 but 1 to the power of 2 now what i want to do now is to bring this to the left so we have by the way before then we'll add this to 4x squared minus 8x plus 4 everything squared minus 1 squared is equal to 0 and this is the point where we apply difference of two squares. So we're going to have 4x squared minus 8x plus 4 plus 1. You know, for the difference of two squares, you're going to add both of them, this and this, in one of the brackets. Then in the other, you subtract. So we now have 4x minus 8x plus 4 then we have minus 1 this time this is square here okay okay so what we have now will be equal to 0 we are using difference of two squares we are using difference of two squares now 4x squared minus 8x plus 5 is what we have here then in the second we have 4x squared minus 8x plus 3 and this is equal to 0 i'm going to pick the two factors one after the other and equate to 0 4x squared minus um, 8x plus 5 equals 0 and this is a quadratic equation okay so we're going to use the formula method for this x is minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2 times a now our x is going to be a is 1 is 4 b is minus 8 and c is 5 so in place of minus b now i'm going to write minus minus 8 and that will give us some um, plus 8 then we have plus or minus we have minus 8 squared then minus 4 times 4 times 5 because a is 4 and um, c is 5 then we divide this by 2 times 4 so we will continue so x is now 8 plus or minus square root of minus 8 squared is 64 is positive then minus 4 times 4 is 16 16 times 5 is 80 
then we'll divide by 8. Now don't let this 8 cancel that because it will be wrong. Now x will now be 8 plus or minus. We have um, square root of negative 16. Then we divide. Okay, so we divide by 2, by 8 rather. So if we continue, then our x shall be equal to 8 plus or minus. Square root of negative 16 is the same as 4i because of the negative. Then we are dividing by 8. Now, do you know that, um, okay, we can um, divide everything by, okay, let's not do it that way. Let's do it this way. So our x will be equal to 8 over 8 plus or minus. 4i over 8. You know, we have not changed anything, right? This is 8. Okay, so to continue from here. Okay, so our x will now be 1 plus or minus. We're going to have 1 over 2, then i. And um, this is a 2 in 1 solution. x is equal to 1 plus 1 over 2i or 1 minus 1 over 2i. So from here we have two solutions. But then we left out one of the factors. Let me recall, the factor is 4x squared minus 8x plus 3. And this time around we equate to zero again and we can now solve it. Okay, to solve it we have um, um, our a is 4, b is minus 8, c is 3. But then, can we see if this can be factorized? Okay, I think this can be factorized because um, we first of all multiply 4 by 3 and that will give um, 12. That should give us 12. Now, 12 is the same thing as 6 minus 6 times minus 12. 2. Minus 6 times minus 2 is 12. Then minus 6 minus 2 will give us minus 8. So we are good to go. So we'll write 4x squared. In place of this now, I write minus 6x, then minus 2x plus 3 equals 0. So we group these two and factorize. 2x is a common factor. Here we are going to have another 2x. 2x times 2x is 4x squared. Okay, take note. Then minus 6x divided by 2x is going to be 3. Then close it. Here nothing is common, so we pick minus 1 as a factor. Then here we have 2x. Minus 1 times 2x is minus 2x. Then this negative, this negative will affect this positive. Because 3 divided by minus 1 is minus 3. Then everything is 0. So if you have the same thing in the bracket, then you are correct. So let's factorize. 2x minus 3 is a common factor. Then here we have 2x minus here. Minus 1 remains. And this is equal to 0. So now it's either 2x minus 3 equals 0 or 2x minus 1 equals 0. Now 2x is equal to 3 or 2x is equal to 1. Now our x is equal to 3 over 2. That is if we divide by 2. Or our x is equal to 1 over 2. Therefore, x is equal to 3 over 2 or 1 over 2. So from here again, we have additional two solutions. And by this, we have solved this completely. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to my channel for more, like I've always um, said.